Greetings, Internet Drinking Buddies. My name is Link. The show's name is Tubbin and Chuggin. And on this episode, I'll be imbibing Kirkland Premium Strawberry Margarita. Welcome back to the tub, everybody. Now, for whatever reason, it seems like a lot of you are interested in Costco products, the, the Kirkland brand, see how it compares to some of the more, I guess, higher-end things, get it at a little bit of a discount. Understandable. I love Costco. Shop there all the time. Get a lot of their products. So when I was there this past weekend and I saw this guy, the strawberry margarita, the pre-mixed, you know, ready to go for you. Don't even have to add tequila. It's just already ready. Kind of reminded me of the eggnog a little bit. Figured, hey, let's check it out. Let's bring it in the tub. Let's see how it tastes. As always, it's kind of hard to get a year as to when Costco introduces these things. It seems to be somewhat recent to the strawberry margarita. Maybe it's just more of a summer thing. That's why I hadn't seen it before. Regardless, we have it here now. It comes in at 12.7% alcohol by volume. And I was able to get it at 750 for this handle here. If you do the math on that one, that translates out to 67 cents a drink, which is remarkably good. So, already, Costco hitting that sort of, you know, price-to-performance ratio. Let's see how it tastes, obviously, but from that perspective, looking pretty good. Now, they say it's made with triple sec and real lime juice, and you know how much I hate that that real moniker, but they did it with the, the eggnog, so it makes sense they're doing it here now. And then, as always, made with gold tequila uh, which comes from 100 percent cane sugar so we'll see if we can identify the tequila i'm not much of a tequila drinker i don't assume it's necessarily the best quality probably costco's own gold tequila brand maybe we can identify it we'll see but uh the price is really what drove me to this guy you know they had next to it they had those sort of the just add tequila blend that was obviously much cheaper but to get something just sort of pre-packaged like this that you could just put, you know, in your fridge and just go for it whenever you want. You don't have to, like, blend something together whenever you want a margarita. Kind of a spur-of-the-moment type deal. I have, you know, reasonably high expectations that if it's at least somewhat good, like, I could just have this whenever I want a margarita instead of, like, having to have, you know, Grand Marnier or Triple Sec or, you know, lime, like, fresh lime juice on hand. So, let's see. Now again, this is my first experience with the, the strawberry margarita here from, from Kirkland. I have had a strawberry margarita or two in my day. Don't think it costs anywhere close to 67 cents a drink, so that is sort of, again, the, the baseline we're going to be comparing it at. But you know, we'll pour ourselves a glass and then see how it goes. Well, if you could see from that, uh, maybe one squeeze too many kind of got a, a little bit over our little serving table here, but I think we'll be all right in general. Obviously, we need a toast. We need a, a margarita toast. Just keep it simple. Salute. The salt helps. A little bit of salt on the rim definitely reminds me of, of having it as a margarita. If you have the opportunity, definitely recommend pre-mixing your glass with some salt. You know, the last review on this channel was Campari, and we made a note that, like, it tasted like it looked. You know, it looked red, tasted red. This is more of that, like, you know, sugary red, that sort of added food dye to your, your runts candy red type thing. It's really the angle they're going for. Not really cough syrupy, but that like very sugary kind of taste. They say it's made with cane sugar. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'm not going to doubt them on that, but it does taste a little bit more artificial. That might be the food dye. That might be something else. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, because if you go, again, if you go for more with the, the salted side, once, you, once you've kind of had the salt on the rim, I do recommend going on, because it is kind of, not, uh, it's bordering on medicine territory without it. It's like, okay, this is kind of a little cheap tasting, it's a little, a little out there, but when you get the salt, the salt really does, I think, aid 
in the margarita taste, and that gives it more of a, you know, uh, an authentic kick kind of taste to it. Give that, give that salt feel to the margarita. Let's go over here. And that little bit of salt at the beginning, maybe it's just me, but I, I get the expectation that there should be something at the end. You know, it creates a sandwich. You get the salt at the beginning. You get the kind of sweetness of the whatever this concoction that they got down to 67 cents a drink is. And then at the very end, I think when you've had the salt, you start to get a little bit of the tequila, which reminds you that it was a margarita. Because without it, it's... You know, it's 12.7%, but it's a little heavy on the sort of sugary kind of taste without that, that salt at the beginning and the tequila at the end. So I do really recommend it with the salt. Interesting. I was expecting when I had more of it, I would get more of the tequila sort of taste at the end, but it is... So fairly smooth. You're, you're getting some tequila, and I think this is again one of those cases where, like, I'm saying, oh, there's not much tequila in it, but maybe if you're a little bit more sensitive to the alcohol taste, you'll be like, you're crazy. That's hella tequila. And yeah, I can taste it a little bit, so I do think it is more, probably more exaggerated than I'm leading on. It, it does still taste like a margarita. It's just a little bit more like food dye kind of sugary than I was necessarily expecting. It's still pretty good overall, and for 67 cents a drink, it's very good. Maybe freeze this guy? Like, I had this chilled. I do think it would probably be better, like, more frozen. Again, heavy on the salt. Maybe add even a little bit more extra lime if you have that on hand. I think for, if you're not trying to do the work of making a margarita, if you just buy this and you serve it, people will be like, oh, this is fun. And it is. Uh, I think they have a, a non-strawberry version as well, more of the classic margarita. I'll put that up here if, if I do confirm that. But that might be more the way to go. This is uh, it's just a little too artificial for me, I think. Yeah, it's good. Again, don't get me wrong. It's still pretty good. And for the price, I think it's very good. It's just... I guess you can't really expect that, like, Patron Grand Marnier margarita for 67 cents a drink at the end of the day. That's just not possible. So when we evaluate it from that perspective, it's a little not necessarily that that authentico margarita, but it it fills a niche. I think, and again, in this era of, like, seltzers and, you know, hard lemonades and all that kind of stuff, this is this is more in line with that kind of thing than, like, a, a authentic margarita in a bottle. So it's still good, but go in with that expectation. Maybe freeze it, add the salt, you'll have a good time, I think. Overall recommendation, just a little, well, not authentic for my taste. Uh, as always, let me know if there are other alcohols you'd like to see me review. If you have ideas for the show in general, uh, always welcome to those. And please, drink responsibly.